I'm Tom Remington, and you're watching another episode of Open Air with Tom Remington. Good thing you can't see what's in here. <laughs> my my office space is just it, it's a mess. Uh, uh, kind of in a good thing I got the backdrop here. I'm we're in kind of in the middle of doing a facelift here in my office, so things are kind of in disarray. But yeah, we'll we'll work our way through it. No problem. Hey, did you re did you know that? Today is the opening day at the uh, at the uh, climate summit in Copenhagen. Oh yeah, you know it's 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 incredible. It's absolutely incredible. All these people from all over the world are are going to Copenhagen to see if they can figure out how to stop man from given off all this carbon dioxide which they think is warming up the planet and it's going to destroy us all well <laughs> you know it comes out today that um what there's this they they got over 1200 of these limousines are all going to be used to you know uh, uh transport people all over the place there and they're only going to fly in on, on 140 private jets, not commercially, private jets they're going to fly there. And one estimate has it that just that alone, the amount of carbon dioxide emissions that are going to be created for the Co because of people traveling to this Copenhagen show um, is the equivalent of as many as 60 countries' carbon footprint combined for one year. So the first thing they can do is, you know, how can we reduce carbon emissions? Let's cancel these stupid meetings, you know. If you want, walk. Anyway, so that's, that's uh, you know, kind of a kind of a, a, a double standard farce joke all in itself that you know that we're stupid. We just sit here and just take it all in stride. You know, these guys are going to go over there. Now, all I all I want to do is oh, pass a few. You know, sign here. Why don't you sign there? You know, we'll sign this treaty, and then you know, well, you rich countries like the U.S. You know, just give us all your money. Because you're you're polluting the air, and causing the world, the globe, to warm up. So just give us your money, and we'll we'll call it even. Yeah, that's all they're gonna do. But hey, the the, the you know the the, the Copenhagen uh, uh, you know show got off the ground, and the guy, um, what's his name? He's the head of the uh, United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Um, I don't know if I can pronounce his his uh, name right. I'll stab at it. Take a stab at his last name. It, it's Pachauri, Pachauri, Pachuri, P A C H A U R I. I don't know how to pronounce that crap. Have you seen this guy? Man, he looks like a victim of global warming. Man, he's got hair growing all over the place, and his he got gray hair over on this half of his beard, and none over on this half of the beard, and. Anyway, so he gets up there in front of everybody, and he says that, you know, climate change is caused by man, and the science is settled, and there'll be no more discussions about this, and we'll move on. Well, he just so happened to mention climate gate, but, of course, he didn't use the word climate gate, but, you know, this, uh, what he referred to, of course, was the... Uh, the uh, uh, the illegal act of somebody stealing scientists' personal uh, emails. And it's funny because we haven't even determined whether it was actually a hack job that somebody stole this stuff, or whether it was a whistleblower type thing where you know there are certain laws uh, and that might protect some people for that. But anyway, doesn't matter. But. Um, his basic only reference to, to the thing was that, oh, you know, somebody st stole these emails, and they don't prove anything. And he wanted everybody to know that, uh, 
um, all of all of the scientific work that's been done by the climate research unit at the University of East Anglia in, in Great Bit- Britain has all been peer reviewed. Honest, honest, it has. And and to support that statement, um, he's saying this. It's being it has been peer reviewed by the same people who in these emails are saying they fudged the data and they prohibited anybody else from reading peer reviewing their stuff and they demonized those who uh, spoke any opposition to them but it's been peer reviewed by those who need to be peer reviewed peer reviewed themselves I guess is, is what it is so you know they've, they've unfortunately destroyed all the data um there's nothing in those emails or documents that prove anything um we we it sh- it shows in those documents that that these scientists uh they even went so far as to try to get people fired from their jobs because they you know they spoke out in opposition to their peer reviewed science and uh and and these same people, including the head of the IPCC, is saying, "Trust me, trust me on this." You know, I wouldn't steer you wrong. It's really funny because <laughs> the uh, the IPCC guy in his speech this morning, and and if you go over to my Black Bear blog, I I put the CNN uh, video up of of his speech in there, and he and he tells everybody that. All of this science data has all been peer reviewed, and and these scientists that have studied this climate and everything have a great record for the past 21 years. Well, how do we know that? Because trust me, we're we supposed to trust him. You know that oh they've had a great record for 21 years. Well. Nobody really suspected anything until these emails came out, <laughs> you know. And now it's like, what? Well, don't pay any attention to those, you know. I, I, everything we're doing is good, but just don't go look. We don't want you to look because it's all good. And and he even went so far as to say that, you know, the, that that the uh, uh, global warming is so bad. And our science has even proven that our polar bears now are so distressed from the melting of the ice and they just don't know what to do. They're so distressed that um, they've actually taken it upon themselves to uh, name this um, uh, syndrome, if you will, that these uh, polar bears are suffering from. Oh, yeah. It's called the bipolar bear disorder. Yeah, trust me. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so anyway, so they're going to go... Uh, to, that was a joke, by the way. That's not... The bipolar bear disorder thing's not a joke. The rest of it's a joke, too, but it, it's fact. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really real. This is really happening. But did you also know that uh, it was funny because the government in uh, Denmark, which is where Copenhagen is, um, they, because prostitution is legal there in in uh, in the city, and so the government officials come out and and told the prostitutes not to mess with the uh, attendees of the, uh, the the climate summit. So in protest, being good. You know, uh, capitalists that the prostitutes are in protest. They immediately made it known that any attendees of the uh, Copenhagen climate uh, summit uh, could have free sex. And I'm still sitting here, you know. <laughs> so those 1,200 limousines and 140 private jets just doubled when they found that out. And that's why Obama's going to go two days early, right? And he's probably going to take Bill Clinton. I heard he's going to go and be his uh, his special bodyguard just to make sure none of these prostitutes harass him, right? That was a joke, too. But anyway, uh, <coughs> these these guys are doing that. And they're, they're, they, it's, it's, it's a fiasco. And I'll keep you up to date as to what's going on. And we'll see you next time on Open Air with Tom Remington.